your wish is its command. New software has hit the market claiming to be the perfect digital assistant for anyone leading a hectic life. It's called Siri. And while the technology is wowing users with the many tasks it can perform, it's also proving to be a little human. Ian Hannah Mansing explains. Is it going to be chilly in San Francisco this weekend? Not too cold. Maybe down to 61 degrees. You may have seen these ads on TV. People chatting with their new iPhones as it handles simple chores. Can you meet at 10? Reply, definitely. So is this just the latest gimmick or a game changer? Some early adopters are ready to weigh in. And I'm all for technology that makes life easier, not more complicated. And I believe this is one of the, the technologies that will allow us to do that. Akash Sablok loves the new software called Siri. He's a gadget guy, mind you, and an Apple fan. The appeal, he says, is that you can communicate with Siri the way you talk to another person. Setting the alarm is as simple as saying, Siri, I'm going to take a nap. Please wake me up in, in, in half an hour. Voice commands are nothing new, of course. Even Sablok's pickup truck comes with it. Say, use your device, USB, line in. But that has been the limitation. You have to know which words will trigger which functions. Siri is smarter than that, in theory. Siri, can you please tell me the, the, the weather in Vancouver today? But here's an exchange you won't see in the ad. Even after two weeks, someone as savvy as Sablock doesn't always get Siri to do what he wants. Sorry, there are any notes. Oh, so I was, I was actually thinking I was looking through a note. Okay, so we'll try this again. Siri, can you please tell me the weather in Vancouver? I don't know what you mean yeah. by. <laughs> so it's not Siri, perfect, but still, Sablock says today. it's the future. And it's coming soon to a gadget near you. Here's the forecast for Vancouver today. What Apple does, sometimes they take a technology that's already there and they polish it up and they make it so user friendly that it becomes the norm. And I think what we're going to see is the way that, that, that you're communicating now with this phone, you're going to see that on other, other devices. I think we're closer than we realize to being able to say to our stove, stove. Cook this chicken at 325 degrees. I'd like to eat at 5 o'clock. Like Sablock, Blaine Kylo is an Apple fan who writes about technology. And he also thinks Siri will help bring simple voice recognition to appliances in your home. Now that that demand has been established, the manufacturers are going to be scrambling all over themselves to be able to introduce that kind of a feature because that's the kind of stove you're going to want to buy next. What's the traffic like around here? Here's the traffic. And that leads to another problem with Siri, at least for now. Ask that same question. Siri, what's the traffic like around here? Sorry, Ian. I can't provide maps and directions in Canada. That is apparently going to get fixed sometime in the next year, but still, there's some things we'll have to do for now anyway, the old reliable way. In Vancouver, there's an ongoing police incident. Ian Hannah Mansing, CBC News, Vancouver.